today. Man, what a privilege it is to be back in your house again this morning, amen, to be able to share a little bit about the Lord, amen, and about how good that he's been to us. We hope and pray, amen, that this week that God has richly blessed you and, amen, just kept his loving arms around about you, amen. And we hope and pray today that the program as it comes into your home, amen, that it is a blessing to you, amen, that maybe it'll be an uplift to you if maybe you're burdened down this week or maybe going through something that nobody doesn't know anything about. We pray today that maybe the program, amen, will be able to lift you up and, amen, that Satan will let you enjoy uh, the things of God. And we're so glad today that you have tuned us in, amen, took time out of your busy schedule to invite us into your homes, and amen, and we hope and pray today that uh, the songs and, and the preaching of the word is going to be a blessing to you. So we got a couple of new ones, amen, that we're going to try this morning, and we hope and pray, amen, that they're a blessing to each and every one that is listening in, amen, and hope and pray that you enjoy this first song. Sabbath day But come Monday morning Till the coming Sunday They will find their neighbor All along the way Oh, you don't love God If you don't love your neighbor If you gossip about him If you never have mercy If he gets into trouble and you don't try to help it Then you don't love your neighbor And you don't love God In the Holy Bible In the book of Matthew In the 18th chapter And the 21st verse Jesus plainly tells us And we must have mercy There's a space open pray that that song was a blessing to you today and amen we hope and pray today that uh, the whole program amen is going to be a blessing and the main thing is that if you're having trouble rely upon him because he's the burden bearer if you're out there today and you're lost and not done without God trust in him amen because he's the one that has the saving ability amen to reach down to where we're at and to lift us up and to save us amen we're going to the Lord in prayer. I ask God's blessings up over the program today and you out there in your living rooms or wherever you might be today if you'll just join hands with one another. Amen. And help us as we pray. Amen. That this program will be an outreach. Amen. Of somebody getting saved or somebody getting blessed today and just pray with us. And we're going to ask Sister Linda Hill if she would to lead us off in a word of prayer this morning. Dear Lord Heavenly 
thank you for that. <coughs> you to help spread your word, Lord. We ask that you bless the program. Be with us as we sing for your glory and be with the pastor as he delivers the message. Dear Lord, if it be your will, let it reach someone who's shut in and needs to hear your word. And whatever's accomplished, Lord, we give you the praise and the glory for it all. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen, amen. and amen. And uh, we uh, want to take a little bit of time to thank everyone, amen, that has helped us on the TV program, stay on the air. And my, what a blessing it's been to us, and we hope and pray that it's been a blessing to you. Amen. We'd love to hear from you. Amen. If you give us a call or just drop us a line in the mail, amen. And uh, we sure be glad to hear from you. We're going to try one more song, amen. And you pray today that uh, uh, the song will be a blessing to somebody. Upon the rugged cross of Calvary was there my blessed Savior cried. Forgive and for they know not what they do. Oh, see hands were gently knocking on your door. Outside he's pleading to come in. His heart is breaking as he waits for you to wash you free from every sin. Savior's head, the blood was flowing down his face. In shame forsaken there he hung and died. Oh, sinner, bring me to your place. His hands were gently knocking on your door outside he's pleading to come in his heart is breaking as he waits for you to wash you free from every sin glad that he's there today, amen, to take care of our sin debt. Amen. You pray for my wife as she makes a few announcements today. We'd like to invite you to come out to our church. It's Grace Independent Baptist Church at 2507 Olivia Road in Sanford, North Carolina. Our Sunday school is at 10. Morning worship is at 11. Uh, evening service is at 5. Wednesday night service is at 7 p.m. Uh, we are having a revival that is going to be taking place on September the 11th through September the 15th, starting at 7 p.m. 
Brother Gene Thomas from uh, Center Baptist Church in Cander, North Carolina, will be holding the revival. If you're in the area, we'd love for you to come out and join us. Also, too, uh, just a praise report. The Blessing Box is doing fantastic. People's taking the food, and they're leaving food. And if you're in the area and you need food, just feel free to stop by at any time and take the food out of the box. Also, if you have a prayer request, we've got a locked prayer box right beside of it. Just drop your prayer request in that. Uh, we pray every Tuesday night at 6.30 at the church over all the prayer requests. And, you know, we'd love to hear from you. Honey? Hey, ma'am, what a blessing it is to be back in your home again today. Hey, ma'am, with a little bit out of the Word of God. And we're going to be over in the book of... Uh, Deuteronomy today, amen, in chapter number six, and amen, then we want to go from there over into chapter number 10, amen, and want you to listen uh, to a little bit of the word of God, amen, and as it is talking about uh, the children of Israel here, and uh, today uh, there's so many comparisons, amen, of, of things in this life, amen, of of what we do, amen. And it says over there in the book of Deuteronomy in chapter number 6 and verse number 12, it says, Thou beware lest thou forget the Lord. Amen. I want you to think about this just for a little while today. He said, Then beware lest thou forget the Lord, which brought thee forth out of the land of Egypt, from the house of bondage. Amen. It said, And thou shalt fear the Lord thy God, and serve him, and shall swear by his name. You shall not go after other gods, of the gods of the people, which are around about you. For the Lord thy God is a jealous God among you, lest the anger of the Lord thy God be candid against thee, and destroy thee from off of the face of the earth. Amen. Now if we flip over a couple of chapters here, amen, and go into chapter number 10, amen, in chapter number 10 and uh, verse number 12, it said, And now, Israel, what doth the Lord thy God require of thee? But to fear the Lord thy God, to walk in all his ways, and to love him, and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul, to keep the commandments of the Lord and his statutes, which I command thee this day for thy good. Behold, the heaven and the heaven of heavens is the Lord's thy God. The earth also with all that therein is. Amen. Let us pray. Father, dear Lord, it's again God that we come to you this morning, Lord, with thankful hearts. We thank you, Lord, for another day, another opportunity, Lord, of being able to uh, declare amen and to be able to preach the blessings of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And God, we pray today that, Father, you might help us, Lord, that we might be able to help someone today, God. And Father, we pray, Lord, if we've done anything or said anything throughout this week, God, that would hinder this in any way, Father, we pray, Lord, that thou would forgive us of it and pull us up close to the cross. And God, make preaching and teaching easy today. And Lord, Father, whatever's accomplished, dear God, will not fail, Lord, to bow our head. And God, to give you the praise and the honor and the glory, Father, Father, for we ask it all in Jesus' holy and precious name we do pray. And amen and amen. You know, as we begin to look at these scriptures today, amen, I, I'm reminded of what it first said, amen, in the first verse of scripture. Amen. It said, beware, be, be, beware lest thou forget. Amen. And brother, I'm telling you today, as we look upon the children, of Israel, amen, and we see everything that God had done for them, amen, and where that he brought them from and how that 
that he brought them out from in under bondage. Amen. And how that he brought them out to the Red Sea and he parted the waters and he allowed them to go across the Red Sea upon dry ground. And amen. How that in the wilderness he supplied every need that they ever thought about having. But there's one thing that American people today have in common with the children of Israel. Amen. And I believe today that if you'd look up all these verses of Scripture uh, that you'd have to agree with me today is that we're too quick in the forgetting the things that God has done for us. Amen. And brother, I'm telling you today, we live in a nation to where it seems like we take God uh, for granted. Amen. We take everything that the Lord uh, blesses us with throughout the day. Amen. This evening and we take it uh, for granted. Amen. And that is the same thing that the children of Israel was doing here. They soon forgot the blessings that God had blessed them with. And they soon forgot. Amen. About the place of bondage uh, that they was in. Amen. And so many times in our Christian life as God uh, reaches down and he saves us uh, and he redeems us and he brings us uh, up out of that land of bondage. Amen. Uh, he frees us from the slavery uh, of the sin and he sets in our heart uh, a new master uh, and he gives in us a new walk uh, and a new joy. Amen. And he puts praise uh, upon our lips uh, and he puts a new sign uh, upon our gold. Amen. But boy, uh, how quick we are to forget uh, uh, sometimes where God uh, has brought us from. Uh, amen. And boy, every time they had forget, uh, uh, they'd slip right back uh, into the old ways uh, and they'd begin to serve other gods uh, and they'd begin to, uh, begin, uh, uh, to compromise with the people uh, around them. If you ever notice, uh, uh, brother, when people begin to forget uh, uh, the blessings of God, uh, uh, when they begin to forget uh, uh, where God brought them from uh, and they begin to forget uh, uh, what the Lord is uh, trying to do uh, in their life. Uh, amen. And they forget the blessings uh, uh, that God has blessed them with. Uh, amen. Then it's not very long after that uh, until they begin to compromise uh, uh, with the enemy. Amen. Uh, uh, boy, I'm telling you, that's what's uh, happening uh, in our world today. Uh, uh, we got too many religious folks uh, that are compromising uh, uh, with the enemy. And you want to know why? It's because they have forgot uh, uh, what God has done for them uh, in this life. I tell you what, uh, uh, we ought to start the day off uh, every day of our life uh, uh, just uh, praising Him uh, and uh, thanking Him uh, uh, for what He brought us from uh, and where He's got us at uh, and where He's uh, taking us to uh, unless we be like uh, the children of Israel uh, and forget uh, what God has done for us. Amen. He sold him here in the book of Deuteronomy in chapter number 10. He said, And now Israel, what doth the Lord thy God require of thee? Amen. Boy, I'm telling you, whenever God saves us, amen, and whenever he moves on the inside of us and he begins to live in our life, amen, this scene, and there's some things I think of the day that the Lord requires of us, amen. He requires one thing, amen, that we love of him. Amen. With all of our heart and our mind and our soul. Amen. This scene that he said right here, he said, The Lord God I require to thee but to fear the Lord thy God and to walk in all of his ways. Amen. If you notice the children of Israel as long as they was a walking in the path that God had for them, as long as they was thankful to the things that God had gave unto them. You know what? Uh, the blessing just kept a coming, amen. And God kept a supplying of the very need of their life. And it's the same way in our Christian life, amen. When we walk in the fear of the Lord and in the ways of the Lord and we humble ourselves down in the sight of God and we put Him as number 
God. Amen. And this evening in us, just a voice of crying in the wilderness. Amen. Boy, I'm telling you the blessings. They'll fall down out of heaven and they'll overrun our cup because we're being obedient to the Lord. But boy, I'm telling you, as sure as we begin to forget the good things of God. Amen. You remember a time in your life where you couldn't figure out how in the world you was going to make ends meet. Amen. This evening and how God through His mercy and His grace stepped in and He supplied the very need that you had. You remember in your life whenever you was lost and undone and on your way to hell and the world didn't give a hoot. Amen. That it was Jesus that stepped in. Amen. With that shining light and with that fresh word of God and he took our soul and he brought it out of bondage my how we need to be thankful to him today amen what got them into trouble is they forgot all the things that the Lord had done for them and might I tell you today whenever we begin to forget the blessings of the God amen the presence of the enemy is going to be everywhere around you. Amen. And if you're not careful, you'll begin to compromise with the old devil. Amen. You'll begin to run with the wrong crowd. You'll begin to do the little things that you don't think is going to hurt anybody. Amen. When we begin to compromise with the enemy, we're treading upon dangerous ground. Amen. Boy, I'm telling you, we need to keep our eyes fastened to the cross. Amen. And looking toward heaven where Jesus is, the author and the finisher of our faith. Amen. Boy, I'm telling you what, when you compromise with the enemy, that sin will take you further than you ever want to go. It'll keep you longer than you ever want to stay. And it'll cost you more than you will be willing to pay. Amen. But today, there's a way back. Amen. Boy, ain't you glad for the children of Israel whenever they would stray and they would compromise with the enemy. The Lord always give them a door. Amen. That they could walk through and find the goodness of God, honey. Today, I I believe there's some folks out there today. You're tired of the way you live. And you're tired of compromising with the enemy. It's time to arise and get back to the Father's house where there's peace and there's comfort and there's joy. And he's awaiting for you today in the name of the Lord. We find out that God said, and now Israel what? Doeth the Lord thy God require of thee, but to fear the Lord thy God, to walk in all his ways, and to love him. Amen. Boy, if there's ever a time we need to love him, it's a day and hour that we're living in. Amen. This scene and this seem like people love everything but God. Amen. They take everything God's got for granted. Amen. This scene, you might be out there today, and you might be tuning this program in. Amen. And you might not never darting the church doors. Amen. This senior, you take the things that God has given you for granted. You say, preacher, everything that I've got, I've worked for and I've earned it the hard way. Yeah, but who gave you the air to breathe to be able to do that? Who gave you the strength in your body to be able to put one foot in front of another? Who gave you the mind to be able to think with? Who gave you the two hands to be able to walk and be able to work with? Who gave you the two feet. Amen. That you might be able to walk. All of these blessings come from Almighty God. Amen. And boy, I'm telling you today, we take Him for granted. Hey, a lot of people today use the name of the Lord, but they use it in the pain. Amen. And the Lord said that I require thee, amen, to walk in His ways and to love Him and to serve the Lord thy God. Amen. Boy, how we need to be a servant.
servant of the Most High God. How we need to put him number one in our life. Amen. Boy, they begin to compromise with the enemy. Amen. And you know what that brings. Amen. When we begin to compromise with the enemy all at once. Amen. We become satisfied with ourselves. There's a lot of people today. Amen. That is living their life. They're satisfied with their life. Even though that life is going to wind them up in a place called hell. They're satisfied with the way they're living. They're satisfied with the sins around them. They're satisfied. Amen. Staying out of the house of God. They're satisfied. Taking everything for granted. I say today if there's ever a time we need to wake up and to realize we're on a journey and one day after a while these journeys are going to come to an end. We need to remember what God has done for us. Remember how that he saved us. Remember how that he delivered us. Remember in the hours of darkness and he kept his arms around us. Amen. Remember in the midst of the battle who brought us through victorious on the other side. Remember thank God when we was hungry who fed us. Amen. And we need to love him today. The Bible said that we need to love him and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and all thy soul. Amen. This scene of brother I'm telling you you'd be far better off to let the things of the world go and come a running unto this man called Jesus. I believe there's a scripture that said I must see Jesus. Oh how we have a need today to get to where the Lord's at and to remember thank God and to cry out like David did. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation we're talking to a lot of people today their joy's gone we're talking to a lot of people today that their willingness to serve is gone. You want to know why? You forgot what God done for you. Amen. You need to remember, thank God, the giver of life. And his name is Jesus. I pray today, amen, that this has touched somebody's heart and somebody's life and somebody gets saved or gets some help. May God bless you to this time next week.